The U.S. Air Force and its allies are in full swing for Red Flag 17-1 at Nellis Air Force Base. But this iteration of the advanced training exercise has a new player making its debut. The significance of this red flag is that this will be the first time that we have U.S. F-35 participation that's going to be operating with our F-22 fighters that we have. So that's additional fifth gen capability and fighter integration that's going to occur. It's also going to be one of the first times that we have that F-35 operating with coalition assets. The F-35A out of Hill Air Force Base's 34th Fighter Squadron is the latest fifth generation fighter aircraft. Its role alongside the fifth generation F-22, as well as participating coalition forces, brings new advantages to the aerial combat domain. I think it's going to be challenging when you combine the F-35, the F-22, and then all of the integrated force. I think that is going to be what really challenges the aggressors in a way that they may not have been challenged yet to. And with these new challenges, Air Force leaders are using this red flag to display the F-35's abilities as a force multiplier. Airman First Class Julian Kemper, Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada.